Thomas Jefferson, age 36, reduced the ideas to words and paper. Benjamin Franklin, age 70, was the editor, the proofreader, the veto man. 57 people signed the document. John Adams, who was the second president of the United States, had this to say about the 4th of July. John said, I am apt to believe that it will be, be celebrated by succeeding generations as a great anniversary festival. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations from one end of the continent to the other end from this, from this time forward forevermore. That's what John said. Now I'm going to say, I am going to read you the first two paragraphs and the last paragraph of the Declaration of Independence. When it comes, when in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nations and of nations God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires a nation to declare the causes which impel them separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, and among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The last paragraph of the Declaration is as follows. We therefore, the representatives of the United States of America, in general session, assemble, appealing to the Supreme Judge of the world for the rectitude of our intentions, do, in the name and by the authority of the good people of these colonies, solemnly publish and declare that these colonies are and right ought to be free and independent states. That they are absolved from all allegiance to the British Crown and that all political connection between them and the state of Great Britain is and ought to be totally dissolved and that as free and independent states, they have full power to levy war include peace, contract alliances, establish commerce, and to do all other acts and things which independent states may have the right to do. And thought the support of this declaration with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we, all 57 of them, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor.